Oh, my booty! The Sons of the Sun and of the Shadows. Huh. Lieutenant Lope de Vega's account of his astounding travels to the land of the Aztecs. Did he find a strange stone mask? I wonder. Holy Christ! cried Captain Cortez, astonished by the strange rite we beheld. We found the savages half naked. They were throwing balls of silver and gold at each other. They laughed as if demented, clearly maddened by some heathen drug. Heretics. And yet, should one of them fail to catch the ball thrown in his direction, the poor devil was seized and dragged off to be sacrificed in their temple. As we discovered, this frightful game was a ritual most holy to them, and symbolized the movement of the heavenly bodies. The dropping of a ball foretold a catastrophe. That is what the Aztecs believed in their godless ignorance. Their countless deities could only be appeased through endless human sacrifices. Oh dear. The victim's heart, which was still beating, lay in the hand of the murderous priest. Yeah, our holy Catholic priests only hold children in their hands. It's quite gross, really. The interior of the temple was surprisingly cool. The weight of our Which armor, hits? our exhaustion, even the burden of our suffering, they were all banished by a sense of awe that the crudely magnificent altar instilled. In the tomb-like silence, a deep voice chanted an incantation. The majestic statue of the water goddess, Chal Chi Huitlique, seemed to throb with vitality. Oh my, she's getting, she's getting a bit wrecked, isn't she? She has the pee pee. That's good. I can understand why they worship this goddess. This massive stone, Ooh. draped in a golden cloak and studded with precious stones, was coming to life. Before our very eyes! Oh my, this is getting a bit spicy. Horror of horrors! The granite eyes of the statue, empty of life only moments before, were now injected with blood. We staggered back in amazement. Dom Jose was taken by a fit of convulsions. He tried to raise up his crucifix, as if to ward off an attack by demons. The heathen priest laughed cruelly. The statue's mouth cracked open in a deathly green, hmm. bearing teeth sharpened to dagger points. Who would win, Jesus or future goddess? So far, it's on the goddess. Captain Cortez cried, Attack! But it was no juice. We were glued to the spot. Well, I don't think juice will help with glue, my friend, but okay. We were unable to move. Our armor seemed to be bolted to the temple floor. Our legs weakened, and we collapsed in a thunder of steel. Only Cortez had the presence of mind to unsheath his dagger. He hurled it at the cackling priest. Four inches of the finest Toledo steel buried itself in the heathen's face. His blood spurted, splashing the now lifeless idol. We picked ourselves up with difficulty. Mm. Never will I forget that terrible moment. My companions, naturally enough, told tales of devilish enchantments cast upon our armor. Whatever the truth of that, 
I could not deny that the supreme god of the fourth universe had treated us as mere playthings. I am convinced that a terrible energy is yet contained within that heathen statue. A power strong enough to change a proud conquistador into a helpless puppet. A puppet, eh? Drawing of Chalchi Huitlique by Dom Jose de la Sierra, done before the destruction of the Aztec Temple of Tenochtitlan. Hmm. That was the statue we threw. Yeah. I'm guessing this is, uh... Just to tell you in case you didn't realize what to do with it, I guess. Fragments of the Book of Abdul. Apum. In the antique city of Dead Relia, Cthulhu dreams and waits. In the pit of time, the unspeakable lies in wait. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Relia. Your blocks of stone seal the ritual that gives birth to fear. What can't we speak? Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Aya! Aya! Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Lea! Lea! I said it. Let he who knows how to invoke the stones act. It is time. Let the shadow of Cthulhu darken the sky. Kind of May the today. servitor of the black goat of the woods a with goat? a thousand youngs sound his flute in honor of the unspeakable. Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Aya! Aya! Leia, Leia. May he who may not musical. be named cast his withering gaze upon the unbeliever. For he is the door, the key, and the guardian of the door, and holds you now in his immense power. Careful of the tank, careful of the tank. Are you okay, my friend? Whoa! Are you okay? Kafulu for Tang! Well, if I do read that again, will he do it again? Ba -ba -ba <laughs> he do it again. <laughs> He's a wacky inflatable up tube man. Do it again. In May he Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> again. Might as well In do it, he's May. gonna die. <laughs> this is great! Oh! Well that wasn't... you need to put more effort into it. I like that book, it's funny. I know I'll just say I don't know why I'm doing it again, but you know. Oh yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I'm a very stretchy boy.
I hmm. wonder if it actually matches whereabouts we search. That looks like Garfield now that I think about it. actually just check if there's anything of value we need to find uh, and be right back okay we are back there we go. apparently we missed something in here is apparently movable. Who would have thunk it? Everyone but me apparently. Question is which way do we push it? Push. Uh -huh. But where does it go? A parchment. Where does it go? The Creatures of Night by da, Hubertus the Bald. Da, 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 translated da, 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 from Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann Marcus. <laughs> of monstrosity. You who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. Mm. The accursed book of Abdul al Hazred is clear on this matter. We just read that. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Well, we got twisted around, so, you know. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones. For he will free the powers of darkness. Hmm. Of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Uh -huh. Awaiting his prey, the deep one seizes him and drags him down to the abyss, where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Why can't it be pronounced? Of libraries. Unhappy he who frees the prowler Unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not exist. Hmm. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams, stone no more than wind. The vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless. By punching them. Of strife. He who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night. Folly. Evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. Side to secrecy, he who prowls among books will perish by the blade. 
He who flies in the dark heavens will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate, but he who believes... He who prowls among books will perish by the blade. He who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who believes he knows, knows nothing. So me. He who knows, says nothing. So not me. Of death. There are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead, but returns to the origins. A monster, a science. Steel kills the vagabond who never dies. May we have a sword? Translator's Note here ends the manuscript of Hubertus, who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of our Lord, 1666. Sex, sex, sex. Requiescat in pace. I mean peace. Pace means father, you dimwit! You fucking donkey! Sorry. Ah, oh, there's plenty of room. I always forget the name of that song, but I'm pretty sure it's called Self Control. Okay, looked at the guide, and apparently there's a hidden button. Oh, hey. Apparently it's all the way back here. There's a mechanical trigger. Hmm. And... Oh! He wants the Huggy Wuggies. But you cannot have the Huggy Wuggies, for you have not earned them. I should take the lamp, right? The Book of Yael, Signs of Stone, Eucharistic Rituals of Forbidden Cults, Texts Collated by Monsignor Vache, Legate in the Curia of the Vatican. Numerous devilish cults speak of monstrous creatures called the Old Ones. These supernatural beings are believed to be possessed of powers equivalent to those of the gods of antique religions. Adepts of such cults refer to forbidden literature in order to cause these frightful entities to appear before them. Mm -hmm. 
What serious student of folk myths has not come across the names of Cthulhu and Shub Nigurath? Whoa! He's named after the N-word? It must be said that these creatures wield tremendous power and are difficult to control once they have been unleashed into the world. Those who serve he who goes in shadows protect themselves with signs of stone carved into the walls of houses or engraved on various objects. Like butt plugs. For those misguided servants of evil, the best protection appears to be that afforded by the sign of the most ancient gods. Engraved in Manar stone, a heavy material said to be disagreeable to the touch. Hmm. Would it make a good bump plug, though? The sinful practices of those who fall into such errors can only lead to the darkest of despair and are a mortal danger to the soul. Such monsters as those invoked by these foolhardy individuals are engendered when reason drops its guard. Man is easily tempted into perversion well, that's why we have E621, my blad. It is why we must forever remain alert and renounce Satan with each breath we take. His ways are infinite in number. What's Satan ever done to you?